All right, guys, just pulled in here. I'm not going to waste a lot of time talking. Um, it is Saturday, October 1st. We are going in for an evening hunt. Uh, my son had a hockey tournament today. Um, they got eliminated, so we burnt home, uh, grabbed the dog, and we are going to head out. Um, it is warm. My truck says 64 right now. So um, a little tough to walk the dog too hard, but um, I do pretty well evening hunts. But generally, I'm really successful Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, middle of the week when... The woods have been quiet all day. Uh, Saturday evening hunts are a little tougher. Um, there's somebody camping just down the road not too far from here. Uh, ATVs, I'm sure, have been down this trail today. Uh, but we're still going to walk it. The woods are thick. The ATVs cannot see very far back in the woods. So we're going to be counting on Nala to get some birds up in the air. Uh, then we're going to get off trail. We're going to go through an area that does hold some grouse and some woodcock in the past. Um, it is getting a little too mature for woodcock. But... I think we're still gonna find a bird or two in there this fall. And then I'm really hoping to get back to the truck, burn down the road even further. And there's a spot that looks just phenomenal for Woodcock. So um, I'm gonna give that a shot, hopefully right before dark. Uh, I think sunset is a little bit before seven. So we've only got about two and a half hours, which is not a lot of time. And the woods are, like I said, still thick. The leaves are turning yellow though. We had frost three days this past week. We had 27 degrees was the coldest, so um, we're definitely hitting that transition period where the leaves are starting to change, things are starting to drop, and uh, we're going to get back to chase some grouse and see what we can do. Catch it up! Catch it up! All right, well, we got one here. Good job, girl. Um, I'm not going to lie, I did shoot that one out of a tree. Right, my dog made a beautiful flush. It went way up high in one of these balsam trees. And I went ahead and took him out of the tree. Um, that's a safe shot. It is not in any direction that is gonna put my dog in danger. Um, she worked real hard, flushed the bird beautiful, and it just went up in the thick stuff and went up in the tree. So I went ahead and took him. And at least we got a bird here for tonight. I have flushed four now. Uh, and that is the first one I have even been able to see. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna keep on moving. Shot over top of it. Here! Oh, that bird was a, was a miss. Here, 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 here! Jeez. Boy, I don't know if I got that on film, but I could have knocked that bird out of the air with my barrel and my gun. And I probably missed it too. I heard it get up. It came right back at me. Let's see if it landed or if I got it. I don't think I did. Honestly, I'm walking the wrong direction in this stinking sun. Come here! Come here! Come here! No, here! There's another one. Oh, well, that one went down. Gosh, there's birds back here. That is my sixth flush. Here, girl. Here, girl. Here, girl. Come here. Let's see if this bird landed. Oh, frustrating, for sure. Here, here! Oh my gosh, he's laying just kind of in these low, low areas. There we got it. Took two shots. Come on, girl. Fetch it up. Come on. Bring it here. That a girl. Good dog. Bring it here. Come on. There's a girl. There's my first one of the year. My gosh. Took me a little bit, but I only got one. I think I took, uh, what, two misses? Missed two of them. Flushed three more. Finally got one for the pouch. We're going to see if we can get a couple more. They're in here pretty thick today. All right. 
Got a hot dog, happy dog. We are back at the truck. Uh, about two hours of walking here, so we are going to end up calling it a night. I'm not going to have time to go to that other spot. Um, did some shooting. I'm going to have to reload my pockets. My pockets got lighter on the trip today. Uh, flush five girls. Um, got the only one that I even uh, was able to shoot at. Uh, saw one other one. Just heard the other three. Um, I did shoot it out of a tree. The dog worked hard. She flushed it up. My goodness, probably 25, almost 30 feet up in a tree. So um, she was under the tree. I took the shot. Uh, she earned that one. So a nice safe shot up in the air. Um, I know some people don't like that, but uh, that's just kind of how it is for, I think, a lot of hunters, especially here in Minnesota. Um, and then we got into the woodcock. And I know I missed at least four woodcock flushed. I'm not sure exactly how many we flushed. Probably around 10. And that was all just in the last half hour. So the birds are definitely down. Because uh, there were not any woodcock in here last weekend. I did walk this spot. So, anyway, got a few birds. I think we will get a walk in tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. Um, it is forecasted to rain in the morning. So, that seems like nothing new for this uh, for this fall. So, I guess we'll uh, maybe see you tomorrow. All right, we're back out. Uh, Sunday, October 2nd. Got a grouse and a woodcock yesterday. Um, it is not raining yet, but it is forecasting for some rain to move in here um, it, this morning yet. So I'm actually going to go back into the woodcock area first and see if I can't get some woodcock. Um, that's off trail, that's thick, and if it starts raining, I'm going to get just soaked back there. So I'm going to hit that spot first. Um, that and we were almost, you know, two hours, hour and a half into the hunt yesterday. It was 65 degrees which is tough on a lab, especially a black lab. So um, she was a little burnt out and not really not really getting out and working as hard as I would have liked to have her working. So we're gonna hit the woodcock spot first. And then, then we're gonna head down the trail, see if we can pick up a grouse. Uh, my son has hockey this afternoon, so I really don't have all day to sit out here. So we're gonna, we're gonna do it quick and hopefully get back home before noon. Oh, come! Got it. Fetch it up, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come. No, all the way here. Come. Come. Bring it here. Come on. Come on. Bring it here. Come on. Good girl. Come. 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 That a girl. Good dog. All right. First flush. And first bird of the morning. Beautiful little woodcock. All right, it's a good start. All right, well, it's only about 10.45, but it's time for me to head home. So unless I run into another bird unexpectedly, I'm walking back to the truck. This is gonna be the end of the video. Um, I went to the spot that I thought was gonna hold some woodcock and I had about a half hour walk only. And that was a complete bust, not a single bird. Um, but I did flush a couple woodcock out of there last weekend, so I was expecting some birds to be in there, but um, no, not much. So there are some northern birds coming down. They're definitely in pockets if you can get into them. I got into them heavy last night, flushed about 10 birds and geez, maybe 15, 20 minutes of walking. Um, and now today I only flushed one. Um, so I quick came to this trail. Um, and this trail, if I walked it straight in, straight out, we're talking 10 minutes. And I flushed two grouse on this trail. I, so close on one, it flushed back in and flew actually out kind of toward me parallel to the trail. I had my gun up and I just couldn't see it. And then all of a sudden it popped out and it was only a couple feet off the ground. And I, I thought it landed. I hustled up there real fast to see if I could uh, get a second flush out of it. And it must have just dropped over the edge because there's a big bowl there and just sailed back because the dog came with it and we, we couldn't flush it again. So I think that's a total of seven flushes today. Picked up one grouse and one woodcock. Um, but we are definitely getting to that time where the woods is opened a little bit, but it's not totally opened up yet. So next weekend should be good. Um, 
if you walk over to these aspen trees and you shake them, the leaves are just pouring off right now. So we are supposed to have a little more frost this week. And if we get a little wind or a little rain blowing, the cover is really gonna come down, I bet you, by next Saturday. Um, still not gonna be wide open. You still probably have another two weekends before the woods are totally open. But colors are changing. It's beautiful out here. Um, the bird numbers are pretty solid up here in northern Minnesota this year, so I'm gonna keep at her, but um, like I said, I gotta head for home now, get my kid to hockey practice, and be a long, long week to wait for next weekend. Well, surprise, I'm at home. <laughs> I was just driving out, I gotta grab some deer cameras and uh, clean my birds from this morning, and got a bonus one. So that's actually two grouse for the day. Puts me at 10 for the season, but uh, just kind of a little bit of a surprise, but I'll take it.